When you invade a place for its resources, you wipe out the indigenous population. Right now, we are being colonized. This movie was everything I had hoped it would be. Completely different. <laughs> Completely different. How is this going to separate itself from a lot of the other alien invasion movies that we've seen? It's documentary style war making. This is not so much for me an alien movie as it is a war film. Right. Uh, and so any good war film makes you feel like you're in the action, that you are in the SH, you know, yeah. asterisk T. Right. You're seeing it through the eyes of, of, uh, of the Marines. You're seeing it through the eyes of the military. So you're kind of getting an immediate hands-on view. Our, our Marines are our first line of defense when shit hits the fan. Um, he really focused on, you know, the relationships and the people and, and, and trying to get out of there, you know, and, and trying to defend your country. Not making it this epic, you know, thing where you're just exploding or destroying, you know, every single, you know, Los Angeles icon that you could think of or milestone that you right, could think of, like right. the Hollywood sign or whatnot. I found myself really being you know, it just physically involved while I'm watching it and caring and getting chills and crying. And it's just, yeah. I feel like it's a, you just have a different feeling when you're actually watching it. How far does the director go to kind of give you guys that sense? Oh, he's, he, he sets it up. He gives us a set that is riddled with, uh, you know, overturned cars, explosions, helicopters crashing in. We're using live rounds. Um, you know, he's, he, has, he has all the action going on at once. So no matter where you are on this beautiful, huge outdoor set, you have the chance to be captured, right, on film. So that means everybody's acting at all times. I love Johnny Boy. He didn't, he didn't really give a rat's ass how we were sweating, how we were hurting. He just kept beating our asses through the whole thing. And you know what's great? He's there getting his ass beat the whole time, too. And by the end of the day, you were absolutely just dripping wet. You were just exhausted. We had to be in it, you know? And, and luckily, we were able to film on a freeway that was a complete set with burning cars and explosions and live fire and, and the rappelling down. Like we, it, it wasn't a green screen where you didn't have that environment. We were in it. You could, you know, you had soot on your face every day. You could smell the fires. So you had all the sensory elements helping you. It was hot and it was like, it, you know, it's something that you can't really get too comfortable with. So there's always like this, you know, the neck pulling, and, mm -hmm. and those guys had, you know, they were wearing all the, the army fatigues or whatnot, but that pretty much set the tone. And plus the way he was shooting it, like, you know, usually you set up for a long time and then you get, like he was getting bits and pieces from here, anything that he saw that was kind of cool, he's like, you know, come here, let's shoot that. And it was a pretty quick setup, so you have to be on your feet. And, you know, that helped with the concentration and also with the pacing of the movie. Fall back, fall back! Civilians coming out! Can't take him, we got no room! Wait! Can't! Now he sent you through some boot camp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? I'm like, dude, I'm Air Force, not a Marine. Why do I have to train with the Marines? Right, you're an office person, Yeah, right? I was like, dude, I'm, I'm a tech sergeant. He's like, you're gonna do this, because we're gonna rehearse and we need to see the interactions between you and the boys. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm the best moving Air Force technician they had, because I was, you know, pieing those quarters, man, and maneuvering um, accordingly. You were like a sniper with the gun. <laughs> you know, do you have skills? Do you um, have I'm skills? not a good shot. I'm not a good shot. I'm a horrible shot, but I can take it apart, put it back together, carry it, whoop somebody's ass with it. <laughs> I'm curious, you know, you guys did a lot of training. You know, like you said, you did uh, three weeks of boot camp. Um, you learned a lot from the Marines. Af after all the research, would you feel you were in good hands if we were, in fact, invaded by aliens yeah, yeah. with those cats? With the Marines? Yeah, they're tough dudes. Um, not, not just because of the toys, but because of their mentality. You know, they're, um, they're nice guys, but they'll kick your ass. <laughs> you know, they're warriors and they're trained to be and, um, you know, it's fun because I felt like, I was like, what's the age limit to join the Marines, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have to go through boot camp and I, all that sort of stuff, I might consider it. But I have complete uh, confidence in our soldiers, man. Um, I think they're the best and they're incredible and I think that there's a reason why a lot of people don't mess with us. 
and I think it's because of our, our our military. I'd be a little freaked out about about you know about the big one, right. you know, and when and where and who decides to unload it, and whether or not you should use that during an alien invasion. That would be my biggest thing. My biggest fear is who's who's. Who's the guy who has the, the access to the button and is he an idiot? <laughs>